Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building CSX number one, one of their F40 PHs. I've recently gotten a request to do this locomotive and CSX has just repainted their two F40 PHs and their whole office car train into this predecessor classic B&O paint scheme. Now I ran into some issues building this one, mainly we don't have blue stairs in Minecraft for the top to make it look right and the scale at which we build our trains doesn't allow us to quite get the striping right but we're gonna go with it anyway here. As usual I'm gonna build it on the front of the train I already have and the first step is gonna be to take a dark oak stair for the coupler and get it attached up here. Underneath that we put a dark oak fence gate to be an airline come up on the locomotive behind it and delete the fence gates on either side and replace them with dark oak fence and extend it out to be the connected air hoses and cables. Then we're going to spin around like this and put a row of five polished blackstone stairs across the rails. Then above that a polished blackstone block in the middle and then two upside down stairs on either side of that. This end will be the rear of the locomotive. The bottom is very specific on this one. Then we're going to come up behind here and make this T-shaped pattern that comes one above that. And we're going to put an end right on bottom above each rail. Then in front of this, we're going to put smooth stone slabs, three across the middle. Then in front of that here, we're going to make a five by three of polished black stone blocks. Then we're going to come up on this side gap with an oak slab to be the rear stairs put three slabs coming up on the bottom hip boxes here. Same thing on this side. Then we'll do our wheels so come in front of this, skip one block forward and get a block of netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to switch to blackstone stairs and we're going to make an upside down back to back t-shaped pattern that comes five across the rails. Then another set of netherite wheels in front of that with an end rod axle. Then we're going to open dark oak fence gate into the ends of the wheels here and open them into the ends of the wheels over on this side. Then we'll come on top with a polished black stone block and we'll fill in this top middle three coming across this truck here. Stop above the fence gates. Then on bottom, on the next block forward, we need to get two rows of five polished black stone block coming across to each side of the rails. And then we'll fill in the top level as well. And then we'll come stand on the end of this here, and we're gonna put string in the gaps between the rails to hold up an anvil. Then we'll crouch, and we'll put a row of five anvils coming across to be a little air tank here. Then above that, three polished black stone in the middle. And we're gonna extend that out one more and then put a row of three underneath it. Then we'll switch to polished black stone stairs, upside down facing outward in a row that's 10 blocks long. Once you've come out 10, come around like this, three blocks across the rails, then upside down outward facing stairs on this side, 10 blocks long, to frame in the bottom of the fuel tank here. Then we'll come around on top of it with polished black stone block and continue filling the top middle three in. For now, we'll stop at the end of the fuel tank here. Then we'll skip one block back down on the rails get netherite on each rail in an end rod axle. Then blackstone stairs upside down in a back-to-back t-shaped -back pattern that's coming five across the rails. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels on this end and then into the ends of the wheels on this end for sanders and airlines. Now we'll come above this with polished black stone block and continue filling the top middle three in. We stop above where the fence gates are. Then we're gonna come on the side of this block with an oak stair 
outward facing right side up and another one above it. Same thing here. Then in front of this we're going to do the front plow. So three polished black stone stairs facing forward in the middle and two upside down stairs facing outward on either side. Then a block in the middle and two upside down forward facing stairs on either side of it. Then we're going to put three blocks across here and three smooth stone slabs on the very top here. Then we'll spin around, stack up a dark oak stair to be our coupler, delete the ones we use for placement. Underneath it, we'll put a dark oak fence gate for an airline, and then we'll open dark oak fence gates into the plow on either side of the coupler. Now we're going to come on the sides of the truck here, and we're going to put a hopper in front of each wheel on the side. Same thing back here, and then we'll do the other side. So a hopper in front of these wheels, and hoppers in front of these wheels. Then we're going to take a dark oak trap door and run a line of trap doors across the side top of the truck going from wheel to wheel here. Same thing on this side, so a line of trap doors here and a line of trap doors here. Now remember this side with the oak stairs is the front end, so we're going to come on the front top of the fuel tank here and we're going to use a wither skull for a fuel cap. Put one here and one here. And then next to them, a crimson button for the fuel shut off here and here. Then we're going to take anvils for more fuel tanks and run it from that front to one block before the end of the fuel tank. Same thing on this side. Then we're going to put a grindstone right here and then a nether brick fence there. On this side, two nether brick fences. Then we're going to put stone buttons on these two top blocks here, and same thing on the other side. Then we'll swing around on top, and we'll fill in this top middle three with polished black stone block going end to end. Then come back up to the front, on the very top edge here, right next to these stairs, and put a smooth stone slab alternating with a block of space going all the way down both sides of the locomotive. Then, in all the gaps on both sides, we're going to fill them with oak slabs for the FRA striping. Now we'll come work on the nose. So in these corners here, we're actually going to put another smooth stone slab on each side of the top corner here. So one goes here, and one goes here. Then we're going to take out blue concrete powder here. And we're going to come five across the front. And then we'll start bringing it backwards. We're going to come all the way down to the other end of the locomotive here. Stop right at those stairs, skip one block forward, and we'll leave a gap of space in the middle of the back for a door. Then line it up there on this side and fill in this side. Once we have this first layer of blue concrete powder in place, we're going to come above it with black concrete powder and go all the way around the locomotive with that. Now we'll come on top of the nose on the front here and we'll switch back to blue concrete powder. And on the very front we're going to put three across the middle. Then behind this we're going to fill it in with a row of light gray concrete too high to hold up the next layer and then five blue across here. Then above that we're going to take out light gray carpet and we're going to put carpet in each corner here on the nose and fill the top with light gray carpet. There really should be another full layer of gray above this blue here to make the nose look accurate to the real thing but the scale we build at doesn't allow us to do that. 
I tried building it first with the top of the nose gray and the stripes only being two blocks tall and then using banners for the stripes, but that just did not look right to me. So I decided to sacrifice this little top of the nose instead of all the stripes on the side. So that's why we're doing it like this. Then behind that, we're gonna put blue concrete powder on each side and then two cyan stained glass blocks for the windows. And this gap between them, we'll fill it with gray concrete, a gray concrete in the middle, and two more cyan stained glass. Then we're gonna take blue concrete powder, two behind it, and put cyan stained glass above that. Then we're gonna come right behind this here, knock out these two blocks and the slab under it. Same thing on the other side. So we have to build our ladder to get up into the cab. Then we'll switch back to a blue concrete powder and bring it all the way down to the back here. In this middle, we have to put the door to hold up the blue concrete powder and three across the top of the doorway. Then we'll bring blue concrete powder all the way up this side as well. And we'll stop when we get to this gap we just knocked out. Then above that, we're gonna put light gray concrete coming all the way down the locomotive. And three across the back here, and then all the way up this side. And just keep bringing it forward until we get to the edge of this doorway. Then we're gonna come in this gap here, place a right side up oak stair on the bottom, then a right side up polished blackstone stair above that, then an upside down polished blackstone stair, and then a door. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So a right side up oak stair on bottom, right side up polished blackstone, upside down polished blackstone, and a door. You can use whatever door you want. I'm using this one because the doors on this one have windows. Then we're gonna knock out this front block and the one below it, because we have to put our little logo in there. So a yellow concrete on bottom and replace the light blue concrete powder on top of it here. Then we'll put a gray carpet back on top of that. And we're actually gonna take the carpet off these corner ones and replace them with smooth stone slabs so it looks a little better. Then we're gonna swing down to the back of the locomotive on top and put three blue concrete powder across the back middle three blocks here. Then we're gonna switch to light gray concrete here because the color doesn't really matter. This is gonna all be covered up. We'll put light gray concrete three across the top front and bring it all the way down the locomotive. Then we're gonna come on the top back with a warp slab to do our cooling fans. Skip one block in in the middle, make this plus shape, then a second and a third. There's three fans back here. Knock out the middles here, and we're gonna put in smokers. Then we'll crouch and put iron trap doors above them for the fan detail. Then we'll move up towards the front here, and then one block behind where the door is here, we're gonna start knocking out blocks. We'll knock out a row of three here and fill it with blackstone brick block and then polish blackstone brick stairs above it for the first set of vents here. Same thing here, so knock out these three, fill them with polished blackstone bricks and then polish blackstone brick stairs above it. Then in front of it, because we don't have blue, we're gonna put warp stairs coming all the way to the front of the locomotive. Same thing on this side. Behind it, three warp stairs on each side. Then behind that, we're gonna knock out a row of five blocks down here. Fill it with polished blackstone bricks. Same thing on this side, knock out five. Fill it with polished blackstone brick. Then we'll continue our warp stairs down above the bricks here. Same thing over here. Five more warp stairs to cover the bricks. 
Then right here, we're gonna place one more plus shape for a fan for the dynamic brakes, a smoker in the middle, crouch, and put a trap door on top. Then we're gonna come to the back, one warp stair on the very back on each side, and one, two, three, four, five, six polished black stone brick stairs, and then connect it up with the warp right there. Same thing, six polished black stone brick stairs, and two more warp stairs. Come on top where this front vent is, and across the middle of that, we're gonna put a three by three of dark oak trap doors, because we don't have black. Behind that, we're gonna make a two wide reverse C shape of warp slabs. Then we're gonna knock out this middle block here, and we're gonna put a smoker in there for the exhaust. Then we'll knock out the middle two blocks behind it and replace them with blue wool. On top of that, we'll open back-to-back -back warp fence gates for the horn. Then we're gonna come up on the front here and do the antennas. So a row of iron trap doors here. And actually, we're gonna knock those out and we're gonna make a two by three of blue wool here. Leaving that front gray. Now we can put the iron trap doors on and then a lever back here on each side for antennas. Then we'll start filling in the entire rest of the roof with blue carpet, anywhere we haven't built anything. Cause this whole thing's supposed to be blue, but we had to use a lot of warp because we don't have slabs and stairs that are blue. So keep bringing it back all around in between these fans and all around the back. Now we're gonna come up on the side here under the end of this first vent. And we're going to start deleting two of these blocks under it and we're going to keep deleting it going back. We have to delete two rows even though we just needed the black deleted because the concrete powder will fall. And we're going to keep bringing this back until it's lined up with that last warp stair above there. Then we're going to start from the left, three yellow concrete for the lettering, a black concrete powder, and fill the rest in with yellow concrete. Then we can replace the blue concrete powder above it. This is just to represent the lettering down the side of the locomotive. Then we're gonna do the same thing over on this side. So starting at the end of this vent, start deleting your columns of two and bringing it back as you knock out blocks. We come all the way back to where we're aligned with the last warp stair above there. Then we start on the left, three yellow concrete, black concrete powder, fill the rest with yellow concrete, then replace the blue concrete powder above it here. Then we're gonna come up for the locomotive number and delete these two under the window and replace them with yellow concrete. Same thing over here. These two under the window next to the door replaced with yellow concrete. Now we're gonna take oak fence for our railing. We're gonna start on each side of the door like that and we're gonna bring them down so they're four blocks tall in total. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So start on each side of this door and bring it down so it's four blocks tall. Then we need to do our railings back here. So we're gonna put four coming up here. And we're actually gonna put a smooth stone slab on this corner. Extend up your oak fence by four here. And then one over. We gotta do the same here. So extend up your oak fence here by four. Put a smooth stone slab in that corner and extend it over. And here I miscalculated. The back should be one block forward, but I didn't feel like rebuilding the whole locomotive. And since these railings come at an angle anyway, we're just gonna do this. We'll leave those there. We'll extend it out by one and one over like that. So you should still be able to walk through there. It looks a little weird, but the railings back here are angled anyway. It's better than rebuilding the whole locomotive. Now we'll come up here with an item frame. 
We'll put an item frame in those three spots with glowstone for the headlight and ditch lights. And actually, I'm going to come knock out this top middle block and replace it with glowstone so the headlight actually has some light. Put an item frame with glowstone over it so it still looks like a headlight and gray carpet above it. Then, in the top middle, above the windows here, we're going to put a stone button. Then, on the side, a dark oak sign with our locomotive number. And this has just been renumbered, so we're going to type CSX1 or CSX2 if you're making the other one. Same thing on the other side. Then we'll hit those signs with some white dye so it shows up better. Now we'll come down to the back and we use oak signs for this one because the lettering's yellow. And on these top corners of the blue concrete powder, put a sign with CSX1. Same thing on the other side. Then we'll put an item frame in the middle with glowstone for a rear headlight. Then on the outside edges of these top gray blocks, put a stone button for the sand filler hatches. Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna take out a ladder here. And we'll run a ladder up this left-hand side next to the door. Now we're gonna build the interior. And this interior is more complicated than most because this is a wide body. So we get to build the whole engine room. So come on up here through the door and we're gonna take out a polish andesite slab. And we're gonna start filling in the floor four blocks back like this with polish andesite slabs. Come over, fill this other side. We'll put a seat here and here being stairs. We'll stack two slabs here for the control stand with a lever here and here. We'll put an item frame with an end portal in the middle to be a computer screen. Turn around behind this here, and on this next middle block, stack slabs up to that same level. Then we'll come behind here. That one's a mistake, don't place that one. Put another slab on each side. Then we're going to use polish andesite stairs to make a staircase to get down. Then we'll start stacking up our slabs in the middle like this. And actually, one more here, and then up to the roof on the back too. The front one, we're gonna have a glowstone to light the cab. And then we'll put a blast furnace in front of it and another glowstone. Then a door here and here. Then we'll come down here place a door here and here, and then fill in above it to the roof with slabs. Then we'll put some torches in these top corners to light the engine room, and then we're going to start working on the actual prime mover. So on this bottom middle, we're going to put a row of seven sideways anvils coming back like this. Once we have that, we're going to crouch and we're gonna take out a gray shulker box and line it up with that exhaust block on top. Then we'll stand on these anvils and crouch and start bringing a line of gray shulker boxes down the top of the anvils. When we get to the end, we'll have to hop down on the floor to place that last one. Then behind here, we're gonna crouch and place a sideways end rod for the drive shaft. Then we're going to come back up here and work on this. So come up here, crouch, put another shulker box under that so it connects, and one coming off like this. Then we need to get out a brewing stand, and we're going to take out a temporary block here and put it on the side of this end, not there, here, so we can place the brewing stand against it. Then we're gonna come up on this front here, put a row of andesite slabs, and make this last one a block. Then we'll come down here, we'll extend this drive shaft out, another one. Then we're gonna put three sideways blast furnaces. Then we'll stack up a column of two temporary blocks behind it, 
stand on it, crouch, and put three more sideways blast furnaces above that. Then, two brewing stands, and still crouch, and two brewing stands above those. Then we can delete these temporary blocks here. Then we're going to use polished andesite stairs to make this shape. A brewing stand on the back. Then an anvil on top. Then we're going to get a smooth stone block above that brewing stand and another one above it. Then we'll put torches up in these corners to light it. Then we'll close a trap door right here on the wall for the brake wheel. And now the engine compartment is completed. So we'll come back up and out. And we actually can't fit through these stairs. I always end up doing this. I think I did this last time when I built the Amtrak at 40 pH. So we need to move those stairs forward. So delete all the stairs. And we'll come in here and delete this front slab. And we'll go ahead and build our staircase again one block forward. Now we can fit through. So we'll come do the same thing over here. Delete these stairs. Delete that front slab. Rebuild the staircase. And we can fit through here now. So then we'll stand this way here and we'll place our doors. So we gotta get the door back out. And replace the door one block forward here. Same thing over here, replace the door on this side. Sorry about that. Now it's right and we can actually walk through it here. Then we're going to come outside here. And I'm going to take white stained glass on the side front windows on each side for rear view mirrors. And there we have it folks. We've completed CSX number one. They're freshly repainted F40PH. I hope you've enjoyed making it. I do apologize for the audio quality in this one. I have to record my narration outside in order to get the quiet I need to do it. And today, it just started absolute downpour raining. So that's the noise you heard in the background. But it was the only time I had to record this narration. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.